up everybody I just wanted to show you the upgrades that I've done to this DIY video light that I was inspired to make from watching Indie Mogul. Let's get into the parts list. The first thing you'll need is your lights and these are uh, two packs of 100 watt equivalent daylight balance CFLs and where I'm from here in Ohio um, at Home Depot they had them on sale for $4.97 since the government wants us to have these. Um, you also want to get your adapters you need your little Y adapters, two socket Y adapters. Um, these are 248 a piece. And you need your outlet to socket adapters. And these were 209 a piece. You can get these at Walmart if you can find them. And they're only about a dollar. Um, they didn't have them where I'm from, so I just got these. You're going to need a flagpole holder. And I got this from Home Depot. This was a uh, $6.97. This is uh, metal, not plastic, like I've seen some people use. Um, this is one of the upgrades. This is a metal tie plate. I got this at Home Depot, and it was uh, $2.53. Um, you're going to need some random zip ties. Um, these are 14 inches. I'd say you probably need some that are at least 10 inches. These were $1.77 at Walmart. Some random nuts and bolts. These are number eight, 32, one and a quarter inch machine screws. This is a number eight, 32, half inch machine screws and some washers. And of course you're going to need your plastic dish tub. This is from Walmart and this is a $2.97. Um, and then Last piece, and this is another upgrade, and this is a uh, Phillips Power Century Shop. Let me let me zoom in a little bit here. This is a Phillips surge protector. Um, I know Andy Muggles Design has you doing wiring and stuff, which is you know it's obviously pretty easy to do. But this is so this anyone can pretty much build this light in about 15 minutes or so, and it's a little bit cheaper than that light. So um, instead of using two small power strips, which you might have seen before, this is actually a power strip and it has seven outlets on it, which, which gives you just enough space to put your, uh, your um, four adapters and have your lights evenly spaced. So let's just get into this build here. Take your uh, flagpole. Flagpole holder. And we're gonna need to drill out some of these holes on this plate. Um, so that way the bolts will fit. And for that, I mean, I've got some random tools for this project. I got a couple screwdrivers. I've got uh, some tin snips, which you could probably use some tips, some scissors to cut something. Um, I've got an adjustable wrench, um, and I've got a drill. Um, the drill bit I'm using is a three sixteen cents drill bit. The best thing to do for this when you're drilling a hole is to get a get a piece of wood and put it underneath what you're drilling to drill into. And so I've got this little board here. It's pretty much goes dead center. And what I do is the left side, these two holes line up with these holes and these two don't line up with the holes, but that's fine because I'll just make a mark and it's not a big deal. Um, so what I do is I drill out these holes first. Now what I do is I get a small drill bit. I try to find one of the smallest that I have. And now I can line up this together. And then I can come through here and make a little mark where this is going to be to drill my next hole, drill a little pilot hole. And that's not a drill fit that I just used made for cutting through metal, so it wouldn't really make a good mark on it, but it's good enough for what I'm doing. It gets me. So bam. This is a... Uh, oh, 
run like this. And now we need to drill out these four corners so that way I don't have a base to sit on this tub. And if you're young and you're using a drill bit, <laughs> ask someone for some help or something. Um, and don't hurt yourself. Trying to film yourself and do this can be a bit difficult. Um, I'm just going to try to center it with my fingers. It's about four fingers on each side, it looks like. And I push it right to where the holes kind of, I don't know if you can see, but the holes are like just, a, just below this. And then you kind of look inside and see the shadow and make sure that the, uh, the back doesn't go too far past this bend and you know it'll all be fine don't worry it's just plastic it's just a dish tub if you mess it up it's just a three dollar dish tub not a big deal put a dot in each of the holes that you did the four corners Again, grab your drill. Okay, I'm sorry about that again. Um, I was in the middle of building this and happened to look over and notice that it stopped recording and apparently my card was full because I wasn't paying attention. Uh, sorry about that. But um, let me go just kind of recap what I did. Um, so you drill your holes in the uh, metal plate. You got your four holes and you got your holes in the middle. And then instead of drilling out all the holes at once, um, I would just recommend drilling out the four holes on the on the sides. Um, attach the plate, um, attach the uh, this metal plate to it. And I've just got these the small um, little half inch machine screws. I got machine screw, washer, and then the bolt. I didn't use any washers on this back side since it's metal. It's just you want a washer here so it doesn't pull through the plastic. But again, just um, one little small machine screw on each corner. And then once you have that on there, I would then just go ahead and drill the holes for this. Um, because when I did this, I actually wasn't paying attention to the, the which way I had the steel plate sitting. And so when I put it on here, the holes didn't match up. And if you can see in here, right here, kind of, there's I had to drill extra holes. So not a big deal, but it's easier if you just attach the plate to this, drill your four holes, Attach your flagpole to it with these uh, longer machine screws. These, uh, what I use, one and a quarter. You can probably get away with just like one inch screws. Um, and then there you go. We're at this stage right here. Now we're going to take this power strip, open it up, get rid of all these little stupid ties on it. And now we're going to need to take off uh, this piece of plastic here. And it's just got, uh, like you can see here. It's only held on by a couple of screws. You got a screw here, a screw here, and uh, two little screws inside here. All right, sorry about that, guys. And I'm back, and I got my tiny screwdriver in my hand, and let's take this thing apart. And you're taking this off so that way it fits in this tub just a little bit better. And then we kind of pull this off, and then this is where my tin snips come into play. I'm sure you can use like a pair of scissors or something, but uh, just be careful that you don't cut the wire or cut your finger off when you're doing this. And there you go. So now we're going to take this. We're going to sit it in the tub. Um, we need to measure, not necessarily not measure, but uh, we need to uh, mark. Can you measure this? Like put it about. Try to, you know, measure about right in the middle somewhere. Um, it looks like about a hand's width on each side. Um, and then we're going to mark where this cord is so we can drill a hole for the cord to come out the side. And we're right about, right about there. Okay. And so now I'm going to take this uh, hole. There's a drill bit here. Go one and one eighth inch drill bit. 
kind of look through the light at your light pull it to the light so you can see the marker and mark a mark on the outside so you know where to drill take the drill be extremely careful is the first step All right, so for whatever reason, this is the fourth light I've made, and this is the only time it's ever acted like this. Um, the whole saw just kind of like chunk through this plastic and kind of just snapped it. It didn't, you know, it's not too bad. It just doesn't look pretty, I guess. Um, I'm still going to need to clean this area up with my tin snips, so that way the uh, end of the power strip will fit through it. Um, you know, you could always just use a razor blade or something to get through this but like I said this is my fourth light I've never had that whole saw act like that but um not a big deal I can just use these tin snips to cut it out it'll be fine it's not necessarily the look more of the functionality in my opinion um, and you want to quick check and see if there's a Power strip will fit through it and come from the inside. And there we go. We're just going to um, center this like that. And then we're going to take a marker and we're going to make a little mark right at the top. And bottom of spots where we want zip ties to be so let me mark it and then I'll show you real quick where I put my zip ties and it's gonna be light space light space light space light so you want to put a zip tie in the spaces so light and then we have a space here so we want to put a dot here oops dot on the other side Light, space, we're gonna have a light here, we're gonna have a space here, we want this right in the middle, we want right in the middle. <coughs> we have a light here, we have a space here. A light here, space there, we got that. So when you're done with that, you'll have something kinda like this. We'll drill these out, we'll sit this one here, we'll zip tie it down, and then you're pretty much Good to go from there. Once again, I'm still using that piece of wood to drill on. This makes everything a lot easier if you're drilling on um, a piece of wood, you know, rather than trying to drill in the air. It's just a little, a little bit easier. I'm gonna clean it up again. Make sure there's no burrs on the front of the back. And you're gonna grab one of your zip ties. The way that I do it is I start with the, uh, the flat side of the zip tie would be, right now it's facing the camera, but it would be facing you if you were doing it. And I'm just going to come in here to the middle. And then don't zip tie it all the way down too tight because you want to make sure all the other ones are in the right spot, but get it uh, semi-snug at least. All right, go ahead and grab, you know, do it to the rest of them. Now, once you got them all on there, make sure you got them right nice in the center and make sure they're all uh, where you want them to be. So it's going to, like I said, light, no light, light, no light, light, no light, light. And it looks like they're all pretty good. And so now I'm just going to go ahead and uh, tighten them all down really tight. Yeah, and there's like no wiggle to it. 
barely any. Double check everything. Alright, I'm gonna use my uh, pink snips to trim them all. Takes a connector, adapter, whatever. Screws on. And you really can't go, you know, fully tight with them. You'll have to back off a little bit to make sure they're, uh, ooh, they go down in the right spot. Because if you tighten them too much, they'll be a little bit crooked or whatever. Just be intelligent about it. If it's too tight, like this, and you see this doesn't move, so I'm going to back it off just a little bit to make it even. And then there you go, like that. Ta -da. And now, last step, you just wanna put your lights in. Definitely screw these in from the base, or the table break. This is what it looks like all finished. And as you can see here, the lights are uh, not touching. Um, in way it's super bright um, let me unplug a couple of the lights I got here going to my garage just so you can kind of tell what this light does um, all I've got going out here is and this is why I shine this away from the camera is just a little bit of light it's coming from the fluorescent light in the back of this garage um, I'm shining this one 800 watt light up here I mean I got this one light lighting up this whole shot and if I hung it above it like I am now um, this light is you know it's, it's really bright I've got uh, I'm running a couple of them to light this video um, I've got like I said I've got four of these total um, I've also wanted to show you the uh, stand that I use. Um, I originally had some work lights that I uh, was using, to, like light a green screen and you know light other things. And, and if you've made lights and have DIY light kits, you know work lights suck. They get extremely hot. They're dangerous, you know, because they're so hot. Um, and so what I did is I just used the work light stand works perfectly um, the stand is uh, fine if you see over uh, over there that's I'm using one there and I'm using one there so um, yeah if this video helped you out at all if any of these upgrades helped you out um, give me a like maybe subscribe I'm gonna have more videos in the future I just started this channel um, if you have any questions leave them in the comment section and I'll do my best to answer them and help you guys out um, but yeah see you guys later